series of unfortunate events led to a plane crashing into that house and um, exploding. I was burned about 25% of my body. And I lit something on fire, and then the whole van kind of burst into flames. It kind of backed up, and I just fell in, burned my hand and my arm and my legs. My brother was in a car seat. He was a year and a half. I was four and a half. Hi, I'm Trudy, and I'm the uh, executive director of the Children's Hospital Burn Camps program. It's not about their burn injury. It's about who they are and where they want to go and how can they get there. And certainly, um, you can't erase the past, and it makes us who we are. But for many of them, it makes them stronger. We're really about providing a challenging experience in a nurturing environment. When we started out as for 20 or so kids. This year we have 84 kids from all over the United States and two exchange kids from England. Every year's the best year. <laughs> they just get better and better. I haven't gotten any yet. It's been nibbles, but I haven't got one. I like the mountain biking. I love horseback riding. The horse's name is Max and my name is Maxine, but people call me Max. Hearing their stories and the, the amazing amount of stuff they have to go through to get to this point to come to camp to get through their injury their the process of healing up from this is is amazing we don't mean when not it's full service Emotion. i believe in these kids um, it was one of the most you know lifting and amazing experiences of my entire life and you know i get to come i get to come back until i'm 18 and I'm only 13. I got a ways to go. I'm hoping to come back here as a counselor even after I'm done. So I don't, I'll see what happens. But that would be a dream come true for me. If you come here, it will probably change your life.